The Chargers are at home for week two. Time to play in front of Bolt fans in a regular season game at SoFi Stadium for the first time. And what a way to break in their new digs, welcoming in America's team, whose fan base must be wondering, didn't Dak Prescott suffer a terrible injury last year? Here comes the blitz, big throw, Prescott hands in, throws, caught! The last time we saw Prescott, he was piling up big yards through the air, getting into shootouts with the other offense. Yet there he was in his 2021 debut, doing the exact same thing, like that leg injury was all a bad dream. Low snap. Now Prescott throws, that's going to be caught! Prescott synced up nicely with his top two pass catchers, too. So the Chargers secondary will have to be sharp. Hangs in the pocket. And the catch is made at the 29 by Amari Cooper. So let's say one thing right now, Dak Prescott looks great. For their part, LA is coming off a game where they didn't face many pass attempts, but they held Washington's QBs to under seven yards per attempt, only allowing one pass to go for more than 20 yards. But this will be an entirely different test for them. And who is in there making that play? Derwin James. He is going to be all over the field. Brandon Staley will use him in multiple different roles. And then you've got Zeke. Not how he wanted to start his 2021. Elliot. Stuffed again. Elliot didn't see a ton of action and didn't do much with the action he was involved in. Reversing direction out of going. Well, he's going to push the pile a little bit for a of about three. It's sort of hard to imagine him finishing two games in a row with a stat line like he had in week one, especially being Tampa is almost impossible to run on, while the Chargers are not. They gave up over four and a half yards a pop last week. On second and seven, they'll keep it on the ground. Look at Gibson breaking free inside the 10, and Gibson finally forced out of bounds. So does this game have shootout written all over it? Because Justin Herbert piled up over 300 passing yards against one of the better secondaries in the league, and he could have had more had his receivers not dropped a bunch of his throws. Third and goal goes the other direction, end zone, and it is caught. Mike Williams for the touchdown. His top targets, same duo he enjoyed chucking it to last year. You have to have the ability to get the ball out quick. They find Keenan Allen on a quick screen, and then he has the ability to make moves downfield. First down throw from the Harbor, a dart, it's Williams again. And the thing is, the Cowboys are still trying to shed the Alice Cowboys nickname, think on it. Because while they came up with two picks against that old guy in Tampa, they were sort of meaningless and they gave up almost 280 passing yards to Brady and four scores through the air. At the age of 44, Brady steps up, avoids the rush, throws, caught, touchdown! And how about putting some heat on the QB? The Cowboys pass rush, zero sacks, and only hit Brady twice all game. Player in there, Brady on the outside, and that's going to be caught. By Gronkowski. But I know, I know, if you're like Cowboy superfan Scooter Magruder, that Godwin catch at the end was P.I. material. If you weren't, then it was another example of the Cowboys pasty giving up a big play at the wrong time. It was simply unbelievable. Was there a push or not? Certainly got knocked Ooh, to baby. the ground. Not called. This should be one of the best games of week two. I don't expect agreement in the comments section, but load it up with your predictions. I'm going to get loaded too. No, not that way. I mean I'm going to load the last screen with our panel's guesses.